right as a person. He was a self-taught artist. He only went to the third grade. Um, his family had to come here to America because of the, um, in Mexico, there was some uprisings or something. I don't, can't remember the exact history. But he was um, so personable. He was very serious. He gave, like, although the course we were taking, it wasn't for credit, it wasn't a college course, uh, you know, or anything. Uh, he would give very serious lectures, and you would stop working on your work and come and sit, and he would give a lecture on the various uh, topics that he wanted to share. Uh, he was fun to be with, and uh, he, he was just inspiring because he, uh, he was such a wonderful artist. And... He believed in us learning our materials. He didn't, you didn't go out and buy a bag of clay. You made your own clay. Wow. And um, if you wanted to get involved in glaze, uh, right off the bat, you, you went into the little room where he had some chemicals and he gave you guidance and you learned how to mix those and make your own um, glazes. So he was, um, he, he was into the natural way to go about things, not go to the art store and buy stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I teach ceramics. I let my students buy the clay. <laughs> but I'm glad I had, had someone like Octavio. And <clears throat> he was well-loved by his students. But here's the thing. Dr. Kelpie didn't drive. He had had an um, accident that... <clears throat> affected his neck a little bit when he was, before he came to Commerce, when he was younger, and he made a decision not to drive. So he lived on the campus in housing, it wasn't like a dormitory, but it was apartment housing that students lived in. He lived in a real small little place. Uh, I, I went there several times. He had, uh, my friend Bob Nunn and I went, he had fixed dinner for us and stuff. But he lived simply. He liked to walk. He was able to walk to his, to the school. Um, he didn't. He he lived alone, and he didn't seem to miss the fact that he wasn't in a great big city. Uh, he was very involved with uh, certain students, enjoying talking to, you know, and telling his stories. And he was very involved and loved music and loved to do his art. So he, he was occupied. I mean, just because you're in this little town, of commerce is a little town, but there's something kind of nice about that. It gives you time, peace, peace and quiet and time. First of all, he was very handsome. I was a uh, young uh, junior, senior, so he was, he was real debonair, real handsome. Wonderful artist. His art was on view right there at the Dallas Museum. You could go upstairs. I think the classes were downstairs. Uh, you go upstairs and see his work. He was real serious. Uh, again, that was a class that we were, all, everybody in it were high school students that had a scholarship from their high school were appointed to be in the class. He gave us assignments. It'd be a Saturday. And so he would give us an assignment. He'd say, next Saturday, I want you to come back and I want you to have uh, your sketchbook filled with, uh, uh, I want you to do 10 uh, drawings, totally abstract, not objective. Just I want you to make arrangements on the page. No subject matter, just, you know, different shapes and things. And, um, but what he was teaching was painting. But he, he introduced a lot about design the other thing about Chapman was he was very concerned and interested in all of us individually. He got to know us. Um, well, there's probably eight or nine students. It's a small class. Uh, I remember at the time, um, you know, we had to buy our own paints, and, and I didn't come from a family that had very much money. But anyway, I was able to buy a few tubes of paint, and, and at one, one time, Chapman came up to me and he said, why are you uh, painting everything with browns? He said, you're using a lot of browns and, you know, not very much color. 
And I said, well, those are the only colors I have. <laughs> he thought there was some, you know, ulterior motive. But, <laughs> but, but I'm telling you that because that's the kind of, you know, interest. Yeah. He was very interested. He was a very, very good teacher. Mm-hmm.